Health Reasons. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an outstanding group of spring calves here. Uh, before we go any further, I guess I'll apologize to the folks that are translating because I probably speak a little different dialect than they're used to. But uh, this first place heifer, she speaks my language. Uh, she's just a honey of a calf, a heifer that I would call advanced in her ribbing for her age. You don't usually talk about a spring calf that has dairy strength. Well, folks, this baby's got it as a junior calf. You just love the explosion she's got through that rib cage, a heifer that walks on a tremendous set of feet and legs, but it's her biggest advantage over her second and third place heifers in her strength through that top line. She holds herself a little tighter in that crop region over this cute calf coming out in second. Second place heifer is an extremely well-balanced heifer, a heifer that also walks on a really nice set of feet and legs. She's sharp, she's angular, uh, but just a heifer that I'd like to give a little bit more oomph through that front end to get her up in that top spot today. But she does use her advantage in mobility and feet and legs to go over another really nice dairy calf coming out in third place. In addition, I prefer her rump structure. This third place heifer, when she gets out on the move, wants to push those thurls back a touch, not quite flow as nicely on those hind wheels as the two above her, but just a silky, clean calf. It's her correctness really throughout that takes her over this fourth place heifer. The fourth place heifer is a problem heifer for me in this class. She's a heifer that at times she gives you the look like she ought to be wearing a blue ribbon out of here, and at times she gives you a look like she doesn't need a ribbon uh, when she comes out of here. I like to change this heifer about her rear legs a touch. In addition, maybe tighten her up through that shoulders, but she's another just extremely clean, silky, hided heifer, a uh, heifer that you really, really catch out on the move. And it's her advantage that she's got right up through that front end, through that chine region, to go over a really clean heifer coming out here in fifth. Fifth place heifer, you just love this head and neck on this heifer. She's just silky clean, so extreme in that dairiness throughout. And it's her advantage that she's got holding her top line a little bit tighter than this heifer coming out in sixth. Sixth place heifer, when she first hit the ring, I thought she might be my winner, but she kind of settled out a little bit as the water went down too. A heifer that wants to settle out in that loin, push those pins back a touch more than I'd like, but she's so silky and clean uh, all the way throughout that she needs to be up here. And just more heifer than this heifer coming out in seventh place. A little bit more stretch from end to end. Really, really nice class of calves. Congratulations. If you're sitting ringside and marking your catalog in the International Brown Swiss Show, Brown Swiss Spring Heifer Calf results are as follows. Entry 1801 did not show. 1802 was 40th. 1803 was 30th. 1804 did not show. 1805 was 31st. 1806 was 38th. 1807 did not show. 1808 was 23rd and the 11th junior. 1809 did not show. 1810 was 6th. 1811 did not show. 1812 was 9th and the 4th junior. 1813 was 17th. 1814 was 8th. If you'll turn your attention to the International Milking Shorehorn Show Arena, Judge Top has placed the four-year-old cow class. Would our juniors take two steps forward? In second place in the junior division is added entry 2632, Heavenly Berry, exhibited by Brett Richard of Monroe, Wisconsin. And our first place junior is Marley Presto Juliet, exhibited by Mary Sweeney of Virgin, New York. 
In third place is entry 1440, Core Star Cyclone Pasta, exhibited by Corey and Kristen Salza of Litchfield, Minnesota. In second place is entry 1437, Marley Presto Juliet, exhibited by Mary Sweeney of Bergen, New York. And first place in the class, also winning the production award, the Bread and Owned Award, and the best utter of class is entry 1436, Trilo Zeus Layla, exhibited by Tristan and Willow Upchurch and Susan Lee of Oxford, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Judge Top, your reasons. Well, just a beautiful class of cows from top to bottom here. But this cow coming out in first, she just puts it all together for us today. You love the style, the balance, and beautiful mammary system. Tracks out on a great set of feet and legs, taking nothing away from the cow in second. Just not quite enough midsection today to get around this big red cow. A beautiful mammary system on our second cow. You love the veins all over it. Just need a little more drop to that rear rib today to get her to the top of the class. It's that Bay Nation and that rear rudder that takes her over. Our fourth calf cow coming out here in third, a lovely cow. You appreciate her having four calves, just not quite as clean all the way through as our cow coming out here in second. Second over third, just a more midsection today. The fourth cow, a real pretty profile kind of a cow, just fresh here, just needs a little time to get all her belly back, but a beautiful class of cows all the way down. Congratulations.